What's up guys and welcome to another video about Jetpack Compose and Canvas. In this video we are gonna build such a battery composable which shows the corresponding bars depending on which value we pass into. And this is a perfect example to actually get started with Canvas in Jetpack Compose. In case you are also interested in more advanced stuff, make sure you check out my YouTube channel where I also cover more complex composables which are used in Canvas. For this battery we can simply pass in a value like 100 or 50 and we get the corresponding loading bars here. So in case you have some kind of connection to a device which has a battery state then you could use this composable to show the corresponding battery composable and the loading bars. I'm here in an empty Android Studio Jetpack Compose project and the only thing I did was to remove the default composable and the default preview. And I've also added this colors here, which we of course don't need. But uh, this is my default color palette, which I always import at the beginning. You will also find this code in my GitHub's repository. So you can simply just copy and paste this or use your own colors. Let's right start with our battery composable. We will call this composable battery. And this takes a modifier, which we will set to the default modifier. It also takes a value of type integer. This will be the percentage value from 0 to 100. Let's just assume that this value does not exceed 100 or goes down below 0. Then we can also pass a step size into of type int. We will set this to 10 by default. These are the different bars of the battery. So in my case, in the uh, introduction here, we had 10 bars, but you could also pass like 15 if you want to show more bars and want to be more specific about the current battery percentage state. We have an outer thickness of type float. I will explain what this uh, value here does. Um, this is kind of the battery outer rounded rectangle. And we have a total bar space also of type float. And this will be set to 120 by default. This total bar space is the total space between all the different uh, battery percentage bars. And this battery also takes a color. In our composable, we can straight start with our canvas. We will pass the modifier we get from above, which will be passed into this battery composable. And then we can open the draw scope. The first thing we want to do is to get the canvas width which we can get from size.width and the canvas height. We, we need both those values to make calculations to in order to, to draw, to not overdraw the canvas. And then we can start drawing a rect, which will be the rect around the battery, the outer rect. And for the color, we will pass our color. And the size of this rect will be of type size. And we pass for the width our canvas width. Let's import the size first. The canvas width for the width and for the height we will pass the, the canvas height. And then we will also apply a style of type stroke. For the width of the stroke we pass the outer thickness float which we will get provided above. And the path effect will be path effect dot corner path effect to also get rounded corners on this rectangle. We will say 8dp dot 2 pixel and then to show you what this actually does, let's invoke this composable up in our main activity so that you can see what the effect of this drawing rectangle actually is. We will define a box here which takes a modifier and this modifier builds the max size and also we will set the background to gray and also let's import box. Then the content alignment of this box will be alignment.center and in here in this box uh, we can then invoke the battery. We will say battery and for the value we will simply pass 80 for example. The color will be orange. The modifier will be modifier.filmxwidth and we will make this depending on the screen width. So we will say 0.3f so um, as large as the whole width and 30% of it. And we also apply the aspect ratio here which we will set to 1.5f. And since we defined default values for these three parameters, we don't need to pass them here in this battery composable. We can start this and have a look at the current state. Okay, <laughs> we have a rounded rectangle for now. Let's go back to our canvas and draw the little knob of the battery. 
I don't know if this is actually called knob, but I think you know what I mean. The little thing on the right, which kind of expands the battery a little bit. And for that, we can say draw rounded rect. For the color, we will pass orange. And then we need to define a top left offset. So where the drawing should actually start. Because by default, this rounded rect gets drawn at the top left. But we want this little knob on the right and in the center of the right. So not at the top right, in the center. We will say offset and for the x value, so the horizontal value, we will pass the canvas width. So it starts at the very right to draw. And for the y value, we will say canvas height multiplied with 0.2f. So we get an equal spacing to the top and to the bottom because our knob will be 50% of the canvas height. For the size, we will pass size 45f and the canvas height multiplied with 0.5f. So this will be 50% of the canvas height. And then we also pass corner radius 15f for x and 15f for y. And let me think about it. This 45 is not really clean here. Let's also make this uh, variable here. We will say um, uh, knob length of type float is equal to 45 by default. So we can also adjust this knob length. And here we will pass the knob length. And we can have a look at how this is currently looking. And yeah, okay, this looks fine so far. The knob gets drawn at the right position. And we can continue with our different percentage bars. For that, we first need the inner battery width. And we can get this from canvas width minus our outer thickness. And maybe you would assume that this would be two times the outer thickness because we have the outer thickness drawn rectangle side on the right and on the left. But let me quickly show you one thing. I have temporarily inserted this draw rect invocation so that you can see what, why this is just one times the outer thickness. As you can see here where my mouse is, um, because we have a smaller width now, we can see that the outer thickness, the thickness of this orange rounded rect gets drawn the same amount to the left and to the right. So it gets drawn around the center. And this is why we have just from my mouse, where my mouse is, this is the canvas start. Until now, where my mouse is now, this is half of the outer thickness. And we also have the same thing on the right here, where my mouse is now. So we have one times the outer thickness, which we will need to subtract from the canvas width. I hope this got clear. Let's remove this temporarily rectangle again. And then we need to define two other values. We need on the one hand space between, which is the space between the different percentage bars. We can get this from our total bar space, which will be passed inside the battery composable, divided by step plus one. We can also rename this to steps because step is a little bit confusing here. So we have, for example, 10 different bars. And then we have nine times a space between these bars and one space at the start and one space at the end. Okay, on the other hand, we need loading bar width, which is equal to our inner battery width minus the total bar space divided by steps. So also we can assume that we have 10 different bars. The step size is 10. Then we need to uh, subtract the total bar space because this is the space we want to show, the total space from our inner battery width. So the width between the end of the drawing of our rounded rect thickness. All right, now we have everything we need for the drawing. Let's first define the current start offset for the first loading bar. This will be an offset. The x value will be outer thickness divided by 2f plus our loading bar width divided by 2f plus space between. I will explain this soon um, that you can follow along what's this about. So imagine we are on the very left. Then we have already seen that until the drawing of the rounded rectangle is finished, this is half of the outer thickness. Then we also add the space between because we want to show the uh, spaces between the different bars also at the start. 
and also of course half of the loading bar width because the same thing here if we have uh, width then it gets drawn around the offset so half of the loading bar is on the left and half of the loading bar is on the right and for the y value we will pass the outer thickness because y0 would be at the very top in the canvas we will start when we have zero at the top and we want to apply a little offset here to not start drawing at the very top otherwise it would be melted together with the rounded rect you could also pass a separate parameter for the top offset but i think the outer thickness is fine here for the current end offset we can simply copy and paste this here rename this to current end offset and we can apply the same principle this time we will have the canvas height minus the outer thickness and i highly recommend you to play around with all those x and y values the outer thickness loading bar width and all that things to see the effect what these values have on the canvas drawing then we can go into a for loop for our different percentage bars we will say for i in zero until our value divided by 100f multiplied with our steps and then we will round this to an integer and we get the corresponding value how much percentage bars we should actually draw because this value can be from 0 to 100 so this is the relative amount of this value and then we multiply it simply with our steps and this will result in the amount of percentage bars in here we can say draw line for the color we will pass orange no not orange our color for the stroke width we will pass our loading bar width the start will be our start offset and the end will be our current end offset this draw line will be drawn for our first percentage bar the first time our for loop enters and then we also need to adjust the current start and the current end offset for the additional percentage bars in case um, they are multiple to show depending on our current percentage value for updating them we can say current start offset is equal to current uh, start offset dot copy and let me put this in a separate line so that you can see everything and i think we need to leave the equal sign above okay like this and for the x value we will say current start offset dot x plus our loading bar width plus the space between and then uh, we go on the horizontal way one step to the right and then we can uh, copy this and paste it down below and here we can simply change the names current end offset current end offset and here current end offset as well and i think then we are good to go to try this out all right okay this looks really good so far let's also try some different values for example 85 then we should show uh, nine percentage bars this also works 84 are just eight bars and let's also try 14 and 19 for example and 59 and yeah i think the battery works very well let's also increase the battery size and now you can see that this does not look that good anymore and for that we have this other parameters we can change the outer thickness we will set this to 50f for example and now the ui isn't responding anymore and as you can see now okay the knob is now too small let's also ch change the knob to uh, 60f for example let's also um, relaunch this then you can see the knob is also okay now we can also adjust the total bar space to for example 200f then we have a little bit more space between the different percentage bars as you can see now and the last thing we can do is to increase the steps or decrease them let's increase them to 20 then this shouldn't look that good anymore i think yeah these are too many percentage bars but if we for example say we want to see just six steps then it looks good again i think and you could also make this values here responsive depending on the screen width depending on the battery width but i think this would be out of the scope of this video and yeah this is just the basis to create such a little battery and to learn something about jetpack compose and canvas 
Okay guys, thank you very much for listening. I hope you enjoyed this video and you have learned something about Jetpack Compose and Canvas. In case you also want to see more videos about Canvas and Jetpack Compose, then you can subscribe because I will continue making videos about Jetpack Compose and Canvas and I will also do more advanced stuff and I already did. And I will also do sometimes a little bit more basic stuff like this here.